That isn't a wink because he's got his glasses on. Thank you. send so much rain that there would be a great flood and it would drown everything on the earth. When Noah heard this, he was very frightened. But God said, don't worry, Noah, you are a good man and I won't destroy you. Everything on the earth. When Noah heard this, he was very frightened. But God said, don't worry, Noah, you are a good man, and I won't destroy you, or your wife, or your sons, or their wives. But you must do exactly as I tell you, so that when the flood comes, you will be saved. God told Noah to build a great boat called an ark. It was to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. It was to be made of cypress wood covered with reeds and coated with tar, both inside and out. Noah cut and sawed and bent and shaped. He built three decks, cut a large door in one side and put a window in the top. The people who lived nearby laughed at Noah while he was building the ark. Why build a boat here? We're nowhere near the sea. You must be mad, they said. But Noah paid no attention. God said to Noah, this big ark is not only for you, I want you to go out and collect a male and a female of every kind of animal, and bird and reptile, and take them into the ark with you. Now go and gather all the food you can find, for, for you will need enough for a long journey. When Noah's neighbors saw Noah and his family piling stores of fruit and grain, leaves and hay inside the ark, they jeered louder than ever. But Noah and his family paid no attention and went on with their work. Two of every kind of animal and bird and reptile eat a lot of food, and very soon it would begin to rain. When all the stores were ready, Noah and his wife and his sons and his son's wives went to collect the animals. They followed Noah into the ark, two by two. As soon as every one of them was safely on board, the first drops of rain started to fall. It rained and rained. Quite soon the ark began to float, but the water rose and rose until it covered even the mountain tops, and every living creature that was not on the ark was drowned. But it still rained. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and after it finally stopped raining, the flood waters went on covering the whole earth for 150 days. Then God thought of Noah and the ark, and he made a strong wind and the flood waters gradually went down. At last, the ark came to rest on the mountain top. Noah began to send out birds to see if they could find dry land. <coughs> they could find no place to perch. Finally, one day, Noah sent out a dove and that evening, the dove came back. 
with an olive twig in its beak. Some parts of the land were dry again. The next time Noah released the dove, it did not come back at all, which showed Noah that it was now safe to leave the ark. So Noah and his family and all the creatures they had taken with them came out of the ark onto dry land. And Noah built an altar and offered a sacrifice of thanksgiving. God was pleased and he blessed Noah and his family and told them to have many children and fill the earth with people again. I will make a promise to you and all your children, God said. I will never again send a flood to destroy everything. I will put a rainbow in every rain cloud, and whenever you see it, you can remember my promise, which will last forever. Bye. 